Welcome to Hyatt Lake Cabins number 46. I'm trying to do a little bit better quality video here. So, in one bedroom with a loft upstairs, uh, four beds, at least four people if they were single, but as many as eight could some comfortably sleep. Uh, a deck all the way around. Most of the snow has melted away. We didn't uh, come today with preparedness to do hot tubbing, but the hot tub is hot and ready to go. Very quiet, little barbecue area, sitting area. This is the view from the back porch. This is uh, non-lakeside, so this goes into the uh, into the forest lakes behind us. The road is directly ahead down in here. It's far enough away you can't see it. You can hear it when a car comes, but it's so quiet you can hear from a long ways away. Okay, so there's the family recording. Oh, you went, went shopping for some some Nike shoes with my card. Mm -hmm. Four hundred, like five, actually like five hundred thirty something dollars. Bathroom. This is the upstairs loft. It's the, this is the, the third car for take a look down here on the very end. You'll see a Well, the fake uh, window painting. Windows outside. It's a little bit one of these things to be careful navigating with the uh, with the loft. As I go, I'm kind of. Making sure I'm not tracking a bunch of stuff in. Yeah. All kinds of uh, dish network and cable and then a couch. Couch that's not a pullout, but it's a really nice, comfy couch. So at least. Bedwives can sleep four. Uh, having couples, you know, you could add another three comfortably. So people-wise, seven. Plenty of propane, huge tanks. Um, parking for basically two. As we head towards the lake from our place, a few units, and then to the lake. If there wasn't so much snow, I would try to get through there, but taking the regular road. Now, when this was a campground, you had up here the top of the campground, right about in there, straight ahead, would have been where we Gosh, it's almost this exact corner. The topography is different, so it's a little difficult to kill, but my best guess is that the 
we would have had our main spot that we camped in the motor home right here. And then you go down this way towards the lake. And it kind of resembles the previous entrance. And the lake is completely frozen over. Haven't been down to it enough to see how uh, how frozen over it is, how thick it is. As long as I'm this far, I might as well get down there. So I'll pan to the right here, and you can see kind of the setup of the cabins running along here. It looks like number 30 is for sale. Or at least it's in need of some work. Everything's very well maintained. Top to bottom is just class. Okay, we're working our way down to, this is the dam. Seven minutes in and I'm breathing hard. So quiet up here, you can hear a pin drop or your own thoughts. All right. From the property. Thanks for watching.